power went out. Crazy. Crazy. It never goes out. All of a sudden, it just goes out. Fucking wild. But yeah, we're back again. Hey, if I should, yeah. That first 20 minutes talking about the Flash, you need to calm down here. <laughs> need to take a breath here. But yeah. Unbelievable. Um, we're back again. Sorry about that. Power went out. I got the chat box open here on my phone. Um, that was wild. It fucking power just went out like that. There was a storm in the area. I should have expected it. But anyway, we're back. PS5 recovered nicely from that. Yeah, man. I love the Flash. Fuck the internet. They're fucking stupid. Everybody that doesn't like the Flash, I don't trust them as a person. You know? I don't trust that kind of person. Somebody doesn't like the Flash. <laughs> it's like, do you have emotions? Do you have feelings? No? I, that's the only kind of people I think wouldn't like the Flash. If you don't have, like, feelings. And you're not, like, a human, then yeah, of course you wouldn't like the Flash. <laughs> is that too harsh? Is that, is that too harsh? Kind of fucked up that fence. But I'm going to stick with these uh, doors here. Because uh, actually, I could put that one right there. That's fine. Um, yeah, we're going here. Welcome back, guys. Sorry. Let's get back into it. I know. Y'all, everyone was engaging in that last one. And then the fucking power goes out. I know. God has it against me. I know. Uh, I got something against me, this god guy. Because The Flash is a great fucking movie. Flashes. And how shitty the internet has treated The Flash. Here. I will never get over this. Like, this is like some fucked up shit. Just how shitty... Um, transport dinosaur. Uh, I guess I can go right here. Why not? Why not? I can go there. Oh, another one. How many are fucking they delivering me? Jesus Christ. That's a lot. Uh, we're gonna need a medical center. And we'll fucking try to stack these guys together. Who, who else saw the Flash, and like was emotionally moved by it? I mean, I can't like. I feel like if you weren't emotionally affected by it, you were going in wanting to hate it. You know. Certainly feels that way. Am I alone in that thinking? Sixty ten internet is treating Jeff Johns' favorite character, how join Green Lantern and Barry Allen. Flash like hell. I mean, is it Jeff John's favorite? Oh my god, we got a T Rex. We got two T Rexes. Holy shit. Uh oh. Confirming asset delivery. Oh my god. Pause. We got build the fence. We got a couple T Rexes, guys. I know. Fucking. And it, you know, this has nothing to do with Jeff John's, by the way. This, this has nothing to do with. Jeff Johns or Walter Armada or any of that DC drama. You know, it has nothing to do with that. I don't know why people didn't go see The Flash. People can't, they can't come up with a reason. They come up with 50 different reasons. They can't come up with an exact reason why it didn't perform well. Or why it's like bombing. They have 50 different reasons. They can't give me an exact reason. You know? And I really think the simple, you know, oftentimes the simple solution is the correct solution, right? Um, I don't know if that's what the Flash movie was talking about. <laughs> no, the, the Flash movie was, uh, sometimes there is no solution. That's like the box office right now for the Flash. Sometimes there is no solution to why it's failing. Um, I believe that. I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah, we'll do that. 
Let's hope they build this fence before these T-Rexes come. Jesus Christ. These fences are strong enough for the T-Rex, by the way. Most certainly not. These species, the T-Rex and the Com Uh, does this have a fence on it? Oh my god. So sometimes you gotta pause this game and just get caught up here. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right, what are you saying here, guys? Watcher, the studios need to stop re uh, review bombing each other's movies. Plain and simple. Oh wow, you think this is like the, uh, another studio trying to bomb the Flash right now? Oof, that's like some conspiratorial stuff. Who would be trying to bomb it right now? Cause, you know, because every movie is kind of flopping right now. We like look at like what movie has done good since Avatar. It's like Doctor Strange did good, yeah. Guardians did good. MCU proven properties, yeah, they did good. Same thing with Avatar. Avatar, proven property. Of course it did good. Uh, Flash movie equal mother and son bonding uh, vibes. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I like it too for sure. Um, I, I, I'm interested in this fucking chat box they've created here on YouTube here. Um, you know, it's different. It's different. It's like a new update. Um, okay, let's figure out what we, uh, what we got here. Ranger Team. Ranger Team 1. Alright, we'll put Ranger Team 2 over here. Oh, I didn't click that. Ranger Team 2. Um, yeah, guys. They're treating it like fucking Green Lantern. Like it's a Green Lantern 2011. Like it's ridiculous right now. Actually, on a sign, we'll do two here as well. Gotta okay, make sure you read these labels. I hate when they say cannot reach the destination. Like the door is right fucking here. Like, of course you can. To our success at the park, they'll draw in the crowd. Like, so now start driving, can, start driving. Uh, okay, film psychic. I was saying, I think every DC film was going to bomb until Superman Legacy, and if that bombs, we're definitely in a bad situation. I mean, I don't know where you've been the last like couple of years, film psychic, but every goddamn uh, film's been bombing. Every film's been bombing. Oh come on, they better build. They better build these fences a little faster here. They better build these fences a little faster here. I'm gonna have to fucking tranquilize this fucking guy <laughs> until they fucking <laughs> build this shit. Oh my god. Okay, pause. I was yeah, it's good, but CGI yeesh. I hate that fucking thing. Hot takes. It's so stupid. It's such a... I hate people that complain about CGI. It's so fucking stupid. It didn't take me out of the movie once. It didn't take me out of the movie at all. I was watching the movie. I was completely fine with it. I was sucked in. It's like if you were watching an 80s movie and like you complained about the special effects and the CGI the whole time. It's like, is Die Hard still good even though the special effects don't look that good anymore? Like, yes, it is. Like, of course it is. Like, what? Ugh. Is uh is the fifth element shit because the CGI is shit? Like no, no, it's not. I will not get over that. That is not. If people are complaining about the CGI for the Flash movie, that means they have nothing to complain about. That means they are stretching. You know what I'm saying? They are looking for things because they can't fucking find any real reasons. These fucking things are useless. We have got to get rid of these dinosaurs. These things, they're not going to get as much. Uh, meat and sand. They want meat and fucking sand here. Mm -hmm. Here's your fucking meat. Oh shit. We only have meat. That's not good. 
We'll give him some fucking meat. We'll give him some fucking meat right now. I'll give him all kinds of sand. Uh, I mean, dude, I just watched Batman 89. You want to talk about bad special effects, you know, bad CGI, bad special effects? That movie's chock full of it. We still watch it. We still love it. I still love that fucking movie. That movie is fantastic. Jack Nicholson kills it. He steals the show. You know, him and Michael Keaton stealing the show. And the special effects are god-awful. Like, it's fucking miniatures, for God's sakes. It looks horrendous. And guess what? They'll never remake that movie. They will never remake Batman 89. They'll just keep making different interpretations of Batman. Ugh. It's, it's so frustrating. People complain about the fucking CGI. Like, it matters. Like, it fucking matters. Um, but, yeah. I mean, if Superman Legacy bombs, oh, there you go. There's no more DC movies for the next 20 years. Thank you, Internet. Guess what? You're never getting another Flash movie ever again. Thank you, Internet. Thank you. You know, you fucking idiots. They make a good Flash movie, and everybody shits on it. Now we're never going to get another Flash movie again. Thank you, everybody. You know, thank you. Yeah, fucking idiots out there on the fucking... Not you guys watching. You guys are awesome. But, you know, the fucking idiots on Twitter complaining about CGI. Are you serious right now? Did you cry in the movie? Did it pull any emotional heartstrings for you? Oh, my God. Killing me. They're killing me. All right. Um... Green Lantern movie 2011 overreaction felt like the internet had it out for Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, at that that was an interesting time too because Green Lantern in 2011 that was gonna be Ryan Reynolds like big movie. You know that was gonna be his, like his first big movie. He was gonna become a big star, and it didn't happen for him until like a couple years later. He eventually became a huge star. Everybody thought he was gonna be. That's why he was Green Lantern in that movie. You know, like because everybody knew he was gonna be this big star, but it didn't hit for the internet until Deadpool or whatever the fuck. You know. Um, hot takes. Gun is not the answer. I said they should have done. Even though it was Snyder, they should have just continued the storyline. No, we're way past that. I mean, we can't go back to that. We can't go back in the past. You cannot go backwards. It's like if they went to go make Superman Lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though that Nicolas Cage cameo in Flash was fucking awesome with him fighting the spider, that was it was amazing. Do you think they should go make a Superman Lives movie now? Like, what? It doesn't make any sense. And it's funny because the Flash movie starts and it kind of ties into Zack Snyder's Justice League a lot. Like, there's a bunch of, bunch of like, little Easter eggs. Um, like, when Iris West is like, I feel like I met you a few years ago because of Zack Snyder's Justice League, right? And then... Uh, you know, by the end of the movie, you could be like, oh, now Josh Whedon's Justice League is uh, canon. <laughs> That's how you could flip that. Uh, again, you know. Uh, we need water. We need water for my little dinosaurs. Water. There you go, guys. Here's some water for you. Uh, I can't even see them. What are these things? Do this, you can see them. The content. These things are not going to be content. They gave me some good dinosaurs to start with right here. Um... Now it takes us. I've seen it three times. I love the story. The internet and DC fans have killed any Flash and Shazam movies in the future. Of course, it's over now. You know what I'm saying? It's over. <laughs> like we're lucky if the Superman lives. Uh, I'm calling it Superman lives. Superman Legacy. We're lucky if that movie does good. We're just fucking lucky if it does good. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like it's not going to do good probably. Like the only way Superman Legacy could be a hit. Is if they make that movie for less than a hundred million and it makes like four hundred million back, that's the only way that's successful. There's no way you could, you there's no way you can invest two hundred million dollars into a superhero movie anymore. You just can't do it. We're, you're not the MCU. 
You know what I'm saying? That's the only studio that could probably do it is Disney and the MCU. That's it. That's it. They got killed. We got to fucking tranquilize this guy. This guy's fucking losing his shit. That dinosaur's losing his shit over there. Mm -mm. Will somebody check on this dinosaur? What are they doing? This fucking thing's just sitting here. Ah. <sighs> James Gunn better make the best superhero film ever. I mean, it's a lot of pressure now, isn't it, guys? It's a lot of pre pressure now. A lot of fucking pressure now. Uh, wait, what did you say here back here? Um, hot Takes said, I think now the way DC gets better is do something like Watchmen or Justice League or Mortal Kombat and just... I, I don't understand. I understand, because Mortal Kombat barely made, like, enough money to be successful. Barely. Like, what is this fucking thing doing? Can they fucking just... Do I have to take control? Jesus Christ. This is cool about this game. You can take control of the cars. Fucking get in there. Get in that hole right there, boy. Get in this hole. Wow. Wow. He's stuck. He won't go fucking in the hole. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus. All right, it's our problem now. Uh, okay, now we can help these dinosaurs. Now I know what they want. I right, pause it. Ugh. All right, let's go back to the chest here. I think they better reboot everything from scratch other than Amanda Waller, Peacemaker. Film Psychic, you're contradicting yourself. You can't say, hey, let's reboot everything, but hey, let's keep some stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, man. Like, if we're going to reboot, we got to reboot. We got to restart everything. You're not getting Henry Cavill back. He's too old anyway. He's like over 40. His hairline is way too far back. There's no way you can get Henry Cavill back. Uh, you got to reboot. We got to reboot. Uh, we gotta restart from fresh. Even get rid of Amanda Waller and everybody. Recast everybody in different roles. I don't know. You can't do the same thing now, you know? No, I don't mean now. I meant when the Snyder came out, they should have just continued from there while continuing the other plans. The Snyder could have just been a pocket universe. Yeah. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. They did not, though. They did not. And I don't think Snyder would have been up for it anyway. Uh, right? I don't think Snyder would have been up for it anyway. Um, agreed. Watcher says agreed. Bring a legacy in and under 100 million. Yeah, and they could probably do it. They could. I mean, that's the only way DC movies can be successful. They have to cut budgets. This is not sustainable. You cannot be making $200 million movies and barely making anything back. It's just not sustainable. You've got to cut budgets here. And if that means hiring young actors that don't cost much, like, that's a good start. Let's stop paying these actors $20 million each to be in a fucking movie. Get some no-names, if that helps. Like, Blue Beetle might be successful just because the cast is cheap. That might be why it might be successful. Um, Hot Take says, no, I think DC needs to invest in two big movies that do something so different that people can't refuse to go. No one's going to solo DC movies anymore. It didn't the Flash do something new. I really feel like the Flash was like something unique, uh, much better than the Ant Man fucking Quantum, whatever the fuck that movie was called, and much better than Spider Man No Way Home. Like the Flash did something unique. The whole spaghetti is like the universe. You know, <laughs> the timelines are all like jumbled around, and there's these intersecting points that never change. Like I like that idea. That was a cool idea. I like the whole, like, you know, when <laughs> Barry Allen figures out that all the movies are cast with different actors and stuff. That was hilarious. I thought that was great. Uh, that's something I haven't seen in other fucking movies. Um, I don't think I have. Yeah, we don't have Prey. Oh, my God. We got, oh, shit. Oh, my God. We didn't do research. 
Oh my god, do we have scientists? Oh boy, this is, we're all fucked up in this game right now. We got a couple scientists. Oh, we gotta get some scientists. This guy's worth it. Look how he could be upgraded a lot. We gotta get that guy. I don't know. Nerd Man, I cried in that movie, dude. I am not ashamed to admit that. Like, that is the first superhero movie I fucking cried in, was Flash. I can't think of another one, you know? I didn't cry in The Dark Knight. Straight up, guys, I did not cry in The Dark Knight. Did anybody cry during The Dark Knight? You know? Can anybody tell me that? Did you cry during The Dark Knight? Did you even feel tears coming on? I didn't. Well, you know. The Flash is something special. And people are fucking wasting it. Like, they're fucking just shitting on it for no reason. Oh, yeah. D you don't like, uh... You don't like Ezra Miller. Ooh. You don't like what Ezra Miller, uh, you know, might have did. It's not like, he did he do it? He might have done it. Did he actually do it? No, well, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> like, I guess, did he fucking do it or did he do it? I don't know if he did it. It just sounds like he might have did it, so I guess he did it. I guess he did it. Fucking ridiculous. People are ridiculous. People are fucking ridiculous. And they just get fucking used by people on YouTube that just want their fucking clicks. They don't even care about, you know, having an actual opinion about anything. They just want your fucking clicks. You know? This dinosaur needs to be tranquilized. He's losing his shit bad. Because the environment's not conducive to him, so... Tranquilize his ass. I don't want him breaking out. They will not break out if uh, you make them happy. So that's that's nice to know. Uh, the Flash did it unique, but fumbled on CGI, but didn't go big enough in my fumbled on CGI. What are you talking about? Like I, that's the thing I don't understand about CGI. What are people talking about? It's a style. You know what I'm saying? The whole movie looks the same. It's not like there's something that sticks out as bad. The whole movie's consistent in the way it looks. That's what I'm not getting about the whole, oh, the CGI is bad. Like, which which part? All of it? You know? <laughs> you know, Or is it one or two parts? Or is it, it's all of it. I, that's what I don't get. Um, people be crazy. People be crazy. Um, 1610, man. Henry Cavill's handline has suppressed his widow speak. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I, it's so funny how people can't see that. Like, like. He's going to have to wear a wig if he's going to be Superman. Oh, God. Yeah, cheaper unknowns, lower budget, 100%. I agree with that. Um, film second. You cried during BBS. No, I didn't. When did I cry during... I have a watch on for BBS up here. I don't think I cried once. You can go watch me. Watch my reactions. I don't cry once in that movie. Not even when Superman dies. I like the part where Lex Luthor's on the uh, helicopter pad, though. That's, like, my favorite part of that movie. He's like, no one saved me from Daddy's fists and abominations. I like that whole thing. That's a good little motivation for Lex. That's the best thing that movie I fucking did. And Lee's Hulk, 2003, was unique, and society hated it because it was 78. And what was the thing people hated about Ann Lee's Hulk? The CGI. <laughs> That's a, it's funny how it comes back to that. And... People don't even talk about the CGI in Ainley's Hulk anymore. They don't even talk about it anymore. Even though it is still, like, not good, it doesn't matter. Because as time goes on, special effects and CGI become secondary to what the story is, right? It, it becomes secondary to what the fucking movie is. Like, we watch movies from the 70s and 80s still, and they have horrible special effects, and y'all are just fine with it. Everyone's fine with it. I, you know, I don't buy this whole, uh, oh, the CGI was so bad. It just, like, it, it destroyed the movie. I don't buy it. I'm not buying it. Not buying it for a second. 
Um, because it looked great. A lot, you know, most of the movie looks great in The Flash too. I would say most of it looks great. People complain about the CGI babies as if they want to see real babies falling through the sky. Like, come on. They, you know they couldn't get away with that. Nobody would be all right with that if there was real babies falling through the fucking sky. Nobody would be okay with that. Um, the main Justice League definitely needs to be rebooted. But yeah, they're all going to get, yeah. If they can even make any films anymore, Film Psychic. That's what... <sighs> A lot, I feel like a lot of people are in denial. Like, they ain't making any more DC movies. Like, Superman Legacy might be the last DC movie for a decade. Like, because of all the bitching the internet has done. And all the, the people not showing up for these movies. Like, good luck. They ain't never making more of these fucking movies again. Like, why would they? Why would they make these movies anymore? What what have what have they gotten from making movies that are good like The Flash? The Flash is a good movie. They made a good movie. What did they get for it? Nothing. They get fucking shit for it. So why would they continue to make it? I feel like a lot of you guys are not getting that. Like <laughs> a lot of the internet is just like they're so goddamn stupid. Why would they keep making these movies? Everybody just shits on them all the time. I don't care if, like, you're supporting Snyder or whatever your deal is for hating the movies or you're, like, an MCU shill. That's why you hate the movies. I I don't care what your reasons are. They ain't never going to make these movies again because you all fucking keep shitting on them. Not you, not, not you guys in the chat. I'm just saying the royal you. You know what I'm saying? The royal you, as in people outside of us. You know. I know people, they really can't handle big concepts. I know people, they really can't. These fucking, this is what, these fucking little, this is what we got, these little dinosaurs. Look at these little fucking things. Look at these little guys. Okay. Will he take out that goddamn dinosaur? Please take out that dinosaur. All right, they sleep it for the next eight minutes. That should get us a fucking uh, we should be able to get our prey and fix them before they wake up. The Flash CGI was nowhere near as bad as say Doctor Strange two. Oh, watch her throwing shade at Doctor Strange two. I agree, I agree, dude. I watched Doctor Strange two. If you're telling me the Flash's CGI was worse than Doctor Strange, you're smoking fucking crack. You know what I'm saying? Like you're off your fucking, you're off your rocker. Because if, if not, they're the same, or Flash is a little better. You know, if, if they're not the same, then Flash is a little better. I mean, you're off your rocker if you think Doctor Strange looks better than the Flash. It's the same type of CGI. Uh, film Twitter bros are obsessed with practical special effects until they make the movies themselves and practical effects eat up their budgets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, we got the prey. We got the prey, guys. Uh, they, dude, the Twitter bros are never gonna make movies. <laughs> they never make movies. What? Those fucking idiots can't make movies. <laughs> Sorry, they're not smart enough. Dude, a, a critic's job is to complain about a film. They're not actually smart enough to make the fucking films. Um, let's just accept Aquaman as a bomb in advance and pray Superman like C succeeds. Dude. Everything's gonna be a everything's gonna be a bomb. Blue Beetle's gonna be a bomb. Aquaman's gonna be a bomb. And um, I was there's was somebody that posted on Twitter. I forget which guy. I forget his name, but he said they should move Blue Beetle back to HBO Max and they should move Aquaman to HBO Max because why not? Give people a reason to keep signing up for HBO Max. I feel like that's the only hope you got. That's the only hope we got. Um. Because, like, guys, theaters are going away. Nobody cares about theaters anymore. As proven by the Flash's box office. As proven by that. Nobody cares about fucking theaters anymore. It's the facts. It's the reality. Everyone wants to make fucking, uh... 
a bunch of different excuses for everything. But, like, that's the reality. Nobody cares about fucking movie theaters anymore. If I could just stay at home <laughs> and watch a movie on my TV, why wouldn't I do that? If I'm only got to wait two months, okay. Especially for people that don't use fucking Twitter. You know? Hmm. This is not good. Hey, we're going to need this. We're going to need some dome galleries or something. You know, I just reorganize the paths. I think that's the best way I'm going to be able to do this. Yeah. We'll just reorganize the paths. Ah. <sighs> Hot Take says they should move those movies back to HBO. I feel like they have to. Oh, you quit Twitter? Oh, that's right. You said that. Yeah, I was looking at the DMs. I saw your your little profile pic wasn't there anymore, so I guess you really did do that. Um, the guys not showing up for these movies think they somehow are going to get uh, their way by not supporting it. If people in the 70s treat Superman like this or Batman, and I, we have no superhero movies. Exactly. Exactly, Hot Takes. They're fucking idiots. They're fucking idiots. We will never get a Flash movie again. After this box office, why would they make another Flash movie? What reason do they have to make another Flash movie now? And it sucks, because Reverse Flash would have been the sequel. He would have been the main villain for the sequel. It fucking sucks. And we would have found out that Reverse Flash is the one that stabbed Barry's mother. Like, he's the one that fucking murdered her. Like, that, that would have been a great little sequel, wouldn't it? Like, oh my god, tied into the first movie with the whole mo Like, come on. People suck, dude. People suck so hard. We need that, too. We need a bunch of shit for this park. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um... These guys should be fine. This is perfect. They gotta wake up. Oh my god. By the way, I'm really loving this game. I feel like this game's fucking awesome. Uh, Phil Twitter bros like Alex from High Tops Film Equal. Hollywood ain't listening, bro. Yeah, Alex from High Tops Films. You know, I don't know why that guy hasn't been able to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, why hasn't he been able to make anything? What's going on with that? Anything besides, like, fan films, you know? Like, why has he just been able to do that? Kind of odd, you know? Just fan films, huh? That's the best you could do, huh? All all those millions of subscribers he has. Fan films. That's like, alright. Killing it, dude. You're killing it. Those fan films about fucking Batman and Robin. Like, you're really killing it right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hate to be a dick like that. <laughs> like, it's just like... <laughs> all those YouTube subscribers. You're like... You could probably get some studio to invest in you if you had all those, like, fucking YouTube followers and stuff like that. Uh, right? Gots to be. Look at this guy. He's losing his shit. Why is this guy losing his shit so much? Interesting. This fucking guy. Uh, attractions.
did it. This wouldn't have happened without you, Dr. Malcolm. Hey, I want it on record. Uh, I'm not in favor of this park's existence. I'm it's not in favor of this park's existence. Dream. Delayed, but not denied. Uh, why? Why? Uh, I hate when the computer does not do its job. Like these things should be automatically fucking programmed to do shit right now. I'm sorry, just you know, take a drink here. <sighs> sorry, guys. I completely forgot about Blue Beetle film psychic says. Uh, I feel like that might actually do good numbers as long as the DC bad DC press dies down a little. It has no time. I think Brute Beetle comes out in like two months, dude. So like that movie's already fucked. There's no way. I mean the only I mean I don't think the movie costs that much. So I think that's the only saving grace is that the movie didn't cost much. I think that's the only saving grace they got there. Like it was gonna be a fucking um, you know it was gonna be a little movie for HBO Max. Yeah. I think like the most expensive actor in that movie is probably is F uh Susan Sarandon, right? Is she in that movie? Yeah, I think she is. Oh, why is this thing being so sh sometimes the path connect is a bit, is a little shitty here. Yeah, like fucking, like I don't want that. I don't want a giant fucking curve like that. So, go out a little bit. There you go. They just want me to open the park right now, but I don't, like, I don't trust that right now. Uh, we need more shits. I think we're fine right there. Okay, well, uh, okay, well, I guess we do have to open it, huh? Power. Yes. Give me it. Do it. Power stations. Gonna need it. Open park. Dr. Malcolm, this facility brings needed stability to InGen's operations. That's a win for us both. So it would appear. And the park is a unique opportunity for our guests. Or, uh, or you know, for the hungry dinosaurs. Jurassic <sighs> That's scary. I thought this fucking thing crashed again. I thought I lost power again. Let's just cut it. <laughs> oh! Da, da, da. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, guys. What's up over here? I don't even know who the girlfriend of Alex from High Toss Mills is. I don't know anything about that. Um, imagine Hollywood dropping superhero movies uh, genre and they go back to being low-budget B-movies like 78s and 90s. Directed, directed sci-fi, DC streaming far off from that i think it's really gonna be like you know straight to streaming because who disney and warner brothers really shot themselves in the foot with the whole streaming thing uh because now everybody's just like why would i go see that movie it's going to be on hbo max in two months why would i go see that movie i can get on disney plus in a month i'm telling you guys like this is big big deal big deal Why would I go see that shit? It's coming to my shit soon. Like, why would I waste money on that? <sighs> Large hotels. Oh, okay. 
Okay, okay. Do they just give me that shit automatic? Alright, that's nice. I'm about to get that. Staff center. I do need this. Do need a staff center. We got T-Rex. Like, we got two T-Rexes that are fighting right now. Look at them. They fighting right now. Man, I should have put T-Rexes in here. I could move one of them in there, I guess. I don't know. Rambling here. We, we don't want to... This, baby. I might as well put it right here, right? Focusing for a second here. But anyway, Flash movie being a hit or not, it's not really affecting uh, my life. I love the movie. Um, you know, yep, streaming is the future. I know. Yeah, it's the future's here, guys. Like, why would I go see these movies in theaters? I could just catch them on streaming. But I saw the Flash in theaters because I'm a fucking real DC fan. I guess I guess I'm the only one that's like a real DC fan. I guess I gotta accept that reality. That I'm the only, like, real fucking DC fan. To actually go see the DC movies, you know? Like, fuck everybody else. Fucking posers. All of them. Fucking posers out there. Right? Me and fucking Nerdman, the only real ones. That one's just a bunch of posers. Okay. Requires power. Didn't we just connect all this shit? Oh, this one's not connected. Son of a bitch. I wonder why this didn't connect. There we go. It's all connected now. Beautiful. Went to the giant circle. Yeah, guys, I, I don't know how much longer we have. It's already 1 o'clock in the... one thirty in the morning here. What is this amphitheater? Uh, we should put T Rex in here. It might be worth it. Could put one of the T Rexes in there, spread them out. The T Rexes aren't social, so it shouldn't matter. Um, Marvel and DC should just jump on streaming post COVID. I don't think Marvel needs to do it, but definitely DC gotta do it. MCU is still making tons of money. People still go to those movies in droves. 
from Psychic Blue Beetle will be a good indicator as of how things will be in the DCU? I don't think so. I mean, I think that movie would be lucky to make $300 million. I think that would be a huge success if Blue Beetle made $300 million. That would be a big deal, you know. That would be a very big deal. If uh, that movie did that kind of numbers, you know. I just don't think uh, it's in the cards. Do not think it's in the cards. You know? Does not seem like it's in the cards. What cards? I don't know what cards. There's cards, though. I wonder if I could put a path, like, right here. There we go. All my dinosaurs are happy, right? Okay, I think they're happy. This was happening a lot in my other gameplay. Like, the ranger team could not find a path. Like, what do you mean you can't find a path? It's right fucking here. Do I need to make another gate for you? There's a gate right in front of you. Can we fucking get there? Um, no, we don't have to do that yet. Yeah, that's going to come in handy. Uh, it's researching. Sorry, guys. I get, like, distracted by the game here. Did Marvel's Black Widow bomb? I don't think so. We could look that up right now, actually. Yeah, I could look it up on my phone right now. I don't think it did. Let's look at Black Widow box office. It made three three seventy nine. I'm gonna say three eighty. It made three eighty. Um. It made 380 on 200 million dollar budget. Yeah, it bombed. That's bomb. It has to make 2.5. So if it's 200 million dollar budget, that means it's got to make 500 million to be successful. It only made 380. So that's bomb. And people are saying the Flash is going to finish around 380. It's going to do the same as Black Widow, which is fucking wild. It's fucking wild. And guess what? You ain't never going to see a Black Widow movie again. <laughs> you ain't never going to see that again. No way, Jose. Fucking wild. Dude, what do you mean Ranger Team 2 cannot find a route to his destination? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? There's, I mean, how much more easier can the routes be? Lord. Jesus. Staff Center, yay. Yeah, it should be able to get here. Are you kidding me? Why can't it get here? 
Oh, shit. Why can't it get there? Like, really? Really, dude? <laughs> really? <laughs> you gotta be shitting me, right? Move. Move you over a little bit. go I got all my tech stuff in one place my phone's about to die my god um austin butler austin butler what are we talking about austin butler for superman because i want austin butler for superman for sure all right watcher says when you think of it the so-called streaming model is nothing new think of the airlines they've always paid a premium to get first run movies on the flights that is true that's true yeah man you be a reason to fly a certain airline to get some nice movies um yeah man it's not like the streaming model's that bad i mean these studios are making like a billion dollars a month off their streaming services like they could be they will be getting to that point soon if they just you know um stick with it it's not like it's going anywhere you know what i'm saying like um i'll tell you what's going somewhere though the fucking movie theaters that's what's going somewhere you, th that's not sustainable movie theaters are just not sustainable anymore Um, increase guest comfort to 80%. Oh, yeah, we need bathrooms and shit. I forgot. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that, guest. I started to give you bathrooms. I gotta give you bathrooms. Uh, I forgot about that. See, their, their percentage is going up by a lot now. And they need bunkers in case the animals break out. You know? Gotta get this just in case the animals want to kill them all. Oh, now my fucking battery's dying. Oh my god. Can anything go right? Get tractions. Now it's looking a lot better. Right when they walk in the park, right? I don't know. Seems like there's a lot of traffic. Is that not connected? It's a lot like plant coaster. It's like the same thing. Only with that coasters, you got dinosaurs. 
Oh, by the way, I platinumed Hogwarts Legacy. I already recorded a review. I was going to put that up on the channel. I recorded it. I was just going to put some gameplay onto it and just uh, you know, put it up. Probably do that tomorrow or the next day. Um, you know, we'll get to that. I thought that game was great. Yes, we need that. Oh my god. Okay, okay, hold on. Pause. Pause. Rest that guy. Why can't we train him? There's a lot of stuff to do here. This, this shit's going to keep me up for hours, this game. I think it's off to a good start right now, though. This is, like, the most active zone of the park. Donuts is fine, I guess. So anybody can move this. Yeah. Why it's not connected? Somebody, somebody, tell me why it's not connected. Oh Lord! guys i've been off for a minute i'm just upset that the internet is fucking shitty i don't know that's a new thing that's a new thing um i kept hearing that harley quinn actor in solo movies equal box office bombs marco robbie i don't know we have to look that up i know who's a real box office bomb is um Idris Elba, sad reality, because he's, like, the coolest actor ever, but all his movies have bombed. Like, it's not even, it's not even funny. Like, it's, it's a little funny. It's not that funny. It's a little funny. Mm. It's going to be making a profit, but not that much profit.
Um, if Marvel made Hawkeye movie, it would be box office bomb. Can't do. I mean, superhero movies aren't safe. I mean, no movie is safe anymore. I mean, really, when you think about the way things have been going. I feel like the Barbie movie has the best chance to be successful. Um, you know, really does the best chance. All right, we're good on bathrooms. And I'm, I'm excited for the Barbie movie. I can't wait to actually watch that. I think that's going to be good. Um, everyone's saying it's good, so... It must mean something. I don't know. Everybody said The Flash is good, too. And it is. <laughs> it totally is. First time people have been right about something in a long time. And... I know I harp on the Geeks and Gamers crowd a lot because I really feel like they stand out as like being the most negative, toxic motherfuckers on the planet. Um, like, why are they so against Ezra Miller? Accusations. I know. Accusations. Yeah, no. I mean, there's a video of Ezra choking some girl. But I'm like, you know... A lot of girls like to get choked, so what does that mean? <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> oh, it was it wasn't a playful choke, right? It wasn't a playful choke. Okay, I got gotcha. you. It was a serious choke. Uh, how, how do I know? How do I know that wasn't? You know, could have been a very uh, playful choke for all I know. I wasn't there. Nobody nobody that's commenting on the Ezra Miller shit wasn't there, you know, when all that shit went down. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. That's how it goes. That Justice League song. Does everybody remember that? I just don't know why this can't fit right here. Can I move this building? This whole game's paused right now. We're making some shit. Here we go. Oh, back up, back up, back up. All right, what's up, guys? SFOTGs, um, and they made up stupid reasons to hate it. Um, the girl was laughing the whole video. Oh, yeah, the girl got choked. Yeah, I remember that. I remember the, I'm watching the video. He has a big smile on his face. It seemed like they were harassing him. You know, like... Yeah, Josh's League movie quote. I tried. I mean, it is so funny that Josh... You know, Josh, we didn't put that in Justice League. Like, you know, I tried to fix this shit. Like, <laughs> uh, but all these actors are fucking prima donnas. Essentially. That's what he was getting at, you know? I tried to fix that shit. They're the worst. These prima donnas. Mm. 
there isn't a whole lot of room. Can't do duplicates. I've learned that. These could be duplicates. We got staff improvements right now. I don't know. Just don't buy any of this shit. Gotta wait till that guy wakes up from his nap. Yeah, guys, but... Nolan Oppenheimer sounds like an A-list actor's cost too money. Too much money. That's uh, for sure. Like Matt Damon's in that, but Killian Murphy. I don't think he costs that much. I don't. He's not very A-list, but I feel like Matt Damon's probably the most uh, paid actor in that movie. That's why I feel like that movie is going to do fine. I mean, if he kept his budget under a hundred million, that movie's definitely going to make three hundred million plus. It's a Nolan film. I think all his films have done that. Even Tenet made over that, right? And that was like one of his worst ones, right? Tenant was one of his worst ones. Then it made over three hundred million. Right? Let me look at that up. I'm pretty sure Tenant made a good amount. I didn't see it in theaters. Um, yeah, I'm running out of steam here. This is like the end of the stream, guys. But thanks for joining me. I, that first part, I really ran, you know, went off on a rant. I think I'll save that first part, that first 20 minutes. That was a good good little 20 minute snippet. Let's see if this shit loads. Yeah, Tenet made $365 million on its uh, $200 million budget, so that was a bomb. And uh, his movies have been going down ever since uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. Dark Knight Rises was over a billion. Inception, 800, Interstellar, 700, Dunkirk, 500, and then Tenet was 300-something. You know, 365. You know, that's that's precipitately, it's getting worse every time for Nolan. So, and Oppenheimer is not like a date movie. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, Oppenheimer's not like a family, you know, romp. <laughs> you could take everybody to. Um, they might have, you know, Universal has Nolan right now, so I wouldn't worry too much. I mean, if I'm Universal, I'm kind of happy I have Nolan, you know. I'm very happy I have Nolan. And they will probably do anything to hold on to Nolan. Uh, give me the connection. Gotta connect this shit quick. Booyah. Um, yeah, I mean, everyone's like, oh, Warner Brothers be lucky to have Nolan back, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure Nolan would be plenty happy to come back to Warner Brothers, you know? Like, it's not like it's one or the other, you know? Um, I'm pretty sure like War <laughs> they were a good team. They made some great movies, Nolan and Warner Brothers. Like people crazy. Like, can you imagine making like almost five billion dollars with one director? And you think that director has a problem with that studio after he's made so much money with them? They've made him so much money. They made Nolan filthy rich. Like, why would Nolan have a real problem with Warner Brothers? Because they gave him some notes on his movies? Like, really? Like, grow up. Like, if that's really Nolan's problem, he's got to grow up. Like, for reals?
resupply those. Okay, I gotta get these scientists trained up. Got to. How do we get guest comfort higher? Oh, we need accommodations. We need a hotel. Is that what they really want? They want a fucking hotel? Where the fuck am I going to put a hotel for them? It's going to have no view. Could go right here. Everybody knows. That's how it goes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of that song. That fucking song stuck in my head now. It's a Leonard Cohen song too. So straight up Zack Snyder's fucking alley. Fucking Leonard Cohen, yo. Everybody knows. Hmm. So anyway, I could. Oop. I can. Oop. 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 Okay. Look at that. There we go. I mean, this is not exactly ideal, but it's what the people want. I'm going to have to move it. Thanks for joining, guys. It's been a great stream. At least I know I'm not alone with uh, my hatred for the internet. Vehicle destroyed. All right, what's happening? What am I supposed to do with a destroyed vehicle, huh? My God. The T-Rexes are losing their shit. What am I supposed to do with this destroyed vehicle? Hmm. Animal swallowed something it shouldn't have. Thanks, guys, for joining. I'll be back on later. I'm gonna be talking about Flash for like, you know, you know, for a while. Um, for sure. Cause uh, I just can't get over how people are not like they're not watching the movie and realizing how brilliant the fuck it is, you know. It truly is fucking brilliant. Oh my god, I can't I can't do anything with that. Hold on here. Can't train these guys yet. Yes. So 
so four, five, six, seven. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we can take this dinosaur to the mid. Oh, okay. How do you fix Ranger Team 2, huh? Yes. Thank you. I should put that one T-Rex right here. Put the prey, like, right here. You know, give us some room out here. Yeah, I think that's all I'll do. I'll split up these T-Rexes. They're too strong together. They're destroying my shit. Anyway. Yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Um, Robert Downey Jr. is an Oppenheimer? I didn't even know that. What? That's wild. No one was mad at WB because they want 10 on streaming, and they were they were definitely right about that, weren't they? They were definitely right about that. Like Tenant probably should have been straight to streaming. I mean, he didn't make that much of the box office anyway, so you might as well just put it straight to streaming. Two more dinosaurs are inbound, and I need the park ready for their delivery. They'll also require suitable enclosures and support. So what's the uh, what's the latest addition? To oh, the we got menu? another more dinosaurs. A few herbivores, simple to manage. There's nothing simple about managing dinosaurs. <laughs> I love how Jeff Goldblum's in this game and he's like freaking out every time they want to do something <laughs> he's like you guys are idiots <laughs> we're all gonna die <laughs> uh, that's funny This one's tranquilized. Heading to collect the asset. Now we'll experiment a little bit with this game. All right, guys. Good night. Uh, see all the future. I'll be on later this week, of course. So much to talk about, really, with this Flash movie. I really want to go down and get at the heart of what this uh movie is really about um, where's my prey right there it's about the same area Everybody knows that's how it goes. <laughs> that's a Leonard Cohen version of that song. If you guys don't know who Leonard Cohen is, learn. Learn who he is. guys love you good night i'll keep that first part of the stream up because that's for that was the good rant right there hey i'll probably maybe add this one and put that up but i'll definitely put the harry potter 
review up tomorrow the next day. I see you guys there. Oh, bye, bye. And subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, you know that. Bye bye.